One breaking story after another tonight. This is another big one. Uh, the Washington Post has it, just went up on their website, and I just want to read the lead from this Washington Post story. I'm quoting, President Trump told two senior Russian officials in a 2017 Oval Office meeting that he was unconcerned about Moscow's interference in the U.S. election because the United States did the same in other countries, an assertion that prompted alarmed White House officials to limit access to the remarks to an unusually small number of people, according to three former officials with knowledge of the matter. Joining us right now is CNN National Security Analyst and retired CIA Chief of Russia Operations, Steve Hall. Uh, Steve, first of all, this, is the, this story is just now breaking. I'm wondering what your reaction to this, if the Washington Post reporting is correct, the president telling uh, you know, two uh, Russians, Russian ambassador Sergei Kislyak, that if he's unconcerned about what Russia did in the election. Anderson, I mean, the word horrific comes to mind. Um, I mean, when first of all, it's tacit acknowledgement that the president was aware or understood that the Russians had indeed done this. And then secondly, simply decides to sort of blow it off and say, well, you know, it's not that important because, you know, I, I guess we do that sort of thing, too, according to the president. Remember, he said things like this in the past, you know, when 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 he was confronted with Russia's, you know, authoritarian approach to killing journalists and that sort of thing. You remember the president said, well, you know, we, we've done things like that, too. So this is sort of a common theme, apparently, in this president, which is to say, ah, don't worry about it. You know, everybody does bad things, uh, you know, whether it's in Charlottesville, there's bad people on both sides or the we do things that we're accusing the Russians of. I mean, I don't understand how this is in any sense uh, presidential or, or good for U.S. national security. It's, it's appalling. It, it also, I mean, when he was in Helsinki on the stage standing next to Vladimir Putin after having a private meeting with Putin with just an interpreter present, um, he said that he didn't understand why Russia would have done this, that, that he doesn't, essentially, he was siding with Putin over the, uh, the, the belief of the, act, of the then DNI uh, Dan Coates. So uh, to your point, he, he's saying publicly, you know, he's sort of muddying the water, says he doesn't think Russia did it. He doesn't understand why they would do it. Uh, and yet here he is saying directly to the Russians something seemingly different. I, uh, I want to bring in Shane Harris right now. He's from The Washington Post. He's a reporter on this story. Uh, Shane, this is extraordinary. Can you just explain exactly what you are reporting tonight? Sure. Well, we're reporting that in 2017, when President Trump met in the Oval Office with the Russian foreign minister and the ambassador to the United States, uh, he told them that he was not concerned about Moscow's interference in our recent election because the United States does the same things in other countries. Um, this alarmed senior White House officials who believed, uh, first of all, that the president was sort of falsely equating what had happened in 2016, uh, but also that he might be giving some kind of a green light or a kind of uh, acquiescence to the Russians to try this again in other countries. And the memo of that conversation was then highly restricted, so only very few people were allowed to see it, which was also very unusual at the time. Uh, I, I haven't seen the, the actual writing. Is that a, an, actual, uh, an actual quote, or is that a paraphrase of what the president said? Right. Well, what exactly what we're reporting is that he was that he said he was unconcerned about the interference in the election because the United States does the same thing in other countries. That's a paraphrase. And that, but the import of what okay. he was saying, multiple sources told us, was clear that he was making this equivalency and essentially saying, uh, you know, don't worry about it. These, we do these same kinds of things too, which of course the United States does not.